Okay, everybody, today I'd like to show you, uh, it's kind of a nifty little shovel. I can be quite honest with you, I'm not a fan of any of these folding shovels that have the, the screw nut on them like this. I have not seen one yet that this screw stays perfectly tight. It loosens up. You gotta really put some monkey grip on there. But this little screw right here, like I said, on almost every single one of these type of shovels. Not, not, I'm not, I'm not knocking straight. I'm just saying this design. Because I mean, I know the military uses them. Uh, a lot of other companies they make these type. I'm just not a fan of them. I prefer the old school, where it's like a, like how a long handle shovel's made, but just with a short handle put in it. Kind of like a business is made. But I gotta be honest with you, this is one nifty little shovel. Okay, as you can see right there, it's got that collapsible handle. That's, that's awesome. Locks in place. Gives you a T handle here. Give you something kind of bear down on. I'm gonna take it out of the sheath first. It does have a nice little nylon sheath that comes with it. I said this is made by Shrade. And it is carbon steel, so. You know, you do have to apply some oil to it. I like the way that the uh, profile of the blade is, where it's kind of like it's flat, but at the same time it's got a little bit of a dish to it, where you can actually get some dirt out of there. And, uh, got the hammer, tent stake driver, whatever you call it on the back. So, anyways, I'm going to take a spot right here, and I'm going to dig a, uh, a hole for a Dakota fire hole because I plan on using it to uh, do all my backyard grilling so let's just see what we got going here oh yes yeah. my have bad spot so yeah it's going in there pretty good so like the gravel that kind of thing Some of that might be roots. Like I said, I do feel some gravel in there. That's a good chance to see how well it handles against gravel. Of course, that is actually a rock, though. I'm feeling it. It's not moving. Like I said, you can use that T-handle, bear down on it. I'm a fairly heavy guy. I'm basically sitting on this thing. You know what, just to prove how strong it is, I'm going to sit on it. I guess if you got tired while you're digging a hole, you got you a bit of a seat. Like I said, with T-handle, you're not getting anything driven in Never Never Land. So, it does double as a chair, if you had to. It's just a really bad spot. Mm -hmm. And Like I said, this is some real gravelly dirt here for some reason. I do live in a real rocky area. I guess it should have been expected. But like I said, you got foot spots right there where you can kind of 
press down a little harder. Well, tell you what, I'm going to continue. <laughs> no matter where you go, there's garbage everywhere. Because I know just in what I dug out, I saw some glass off in with the rocks and everything. And, uh, like I said, I'm going to continue to dig this hole out, make it nice and neat. I plan on using it more than once. And we're going to tip. No damage whatsoever. All right, I'm back, and this is. Whew! It's been a heck of an adventure here. I don't know what anybody has ever told you, but a little small shovel is uh, it's handy for some things. But when you got big jobs like this and some red clay, it's a lot of work. Like I said, I'm trying to dress this up kind of nice. I intend on using it more than once. I got a uh, tripod to lower some meals down over top of the fire. And this way I don't have to worry about the flame going all over the place. Like you would with an open flame. But, uh, now for a project like this, you are still going to need something smaller. Because this spade, as you can see, is, you know, good four or five inches wide. And the air hole that you need down through there is going to be a little bit smaller than that. So I'm going to get a little garden trowel and bore a hole from hole to hole. But, uh. As far as uh, a real good folding shovel, the Schrade, uh, I forgot exactly what the model is, oh, SCHSH1, like I said, collapsible job, it's held up pretty decent, and it did, like I said, I hate the design that these type of shovels are, the collapsible types where the nut is, but I can honestly say this one actually been pretty tight it loosened up a little but it wasn't ridiculous but when you're done you just fold this dude back down tighten it back up put it back in the sheath that's a nice little compact package you know of course brush it off and uh, put it back in your pack go about your day but this has been like I said a little demonstration of the shred folding saw I mean oh folding shovel and I will get back with y'all later on about a, another idea or a, another product. Have a good day.